Welcome to this video, everybody. My name is Brooke Hiddink, and I am an e-commerce entrepreneur located in Dubai. I'm originally from Canada. If you could please support my channel, hit the subscribe button below. And like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to be discussing a topic I've been asked about a few times now, and that is why I moved to Dubai and an honest review of the experience so far. The first reason is business-wise. I'll just get very specific as to what things look like. In Canada, where I'm from, corporate tax is essentially 25% of your corporation's income. So let's say I made $500,000 in the corporation in a year. 25% of that would be tax, so 125,000 would be gone right away to tax. In Dubai, there's literally no tax. There's no personal tax, there's no dividend tax, there's no corporate tax, there's literally no tax whatsoever. Even when you go to the store, there's no tax. Tax does not exist here, except there's some value added tax in some tourist areas. It just made sense business-wise, and everyone kind of thinks of this as, oh yes, you're just saving money. Yes, I'm saving money, but it's also more money that I can reinvest into my business. Say if I make $500,000 income in my business, instead of having to pay 125,000 of that to tax, I can reinvest invest that all into my future business to allow it to grow quicker. So you can imagine, like imagine that compounding over a number of years. I have two businesses. I have my e-commerce business and I have a coaching business. Coaching business was very, very easy. Essentially me and my business partner are the only assets in the business. All we had to do is set up a new Stripe account. I set up a Dubai company. So how it works is you set up the Dubai company before I moved. So I set this up when I was still in Canada. And then once the company is set up and then I get a visa for being an investor in my own company in Dubai. So I'm in a foreign investor visa because I'm investing in my own company that I own, which is a Dubai company. So that's how you get the resident status. Once you get your ID card as a foreign resident, you can essentially stay here as long as you want. You just have to renew it, I think every year or two years, but you become an actual resident here. E-commerce business is still located in Canada. It's a little bit more difficult. I think essentially if I do want to move here at some point, I'll have to set up a company in Malta. Dubai company will have to own the Malta company and I'll have to run the business through Malta. And I think I'll still have to pay with 5% tax, which is a bit more of a pain. So I haven't even done that yet. Right now, the e-commerce company is still running in Canada. Eventually like to move the e-commerce business to Dubai as well. I mean, if I ever start any new e-commerce businesses in the future, I will do so from Dubai. The second reason is kind of just like overall life. So if anyone's from Canada, you'll know it's not an enjoyable place to be from September till May. Dark, it's cloudy, it's cold, really not an overall great place to be. You won't go outside very much. There's not really any excuse to like leave your condo. So I'm personally like, I find I'm in a much better mood. I have a much overall higher quality of life when I'm outside in the sun, tanned. I just really, really enjoy life more. So in Dubai, it's absolutely perfect here for those months. So from about October till April in Dubai is like 25 Celsius, about 80 Fahrenheit every day, clear sky, not a cloud in the sky, sunny. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's not like too hot. It's not muggy. It's literally perfect weather. That was a huge, huge selling point as well. It's also very easy to travel around. So Dubai is right in the middle of Asia, like Bali, Thailand, Singapore, these places in Europe. So like very easy to travel around if you want to, which is also great. Number three, overall just seems kind of like the place to be right now. Like if you look outside, there's literally like new skyscrapers being built every day. <laughs> They've built like a palm tree in the ocean from scratch. They built a whole world of essentially a bunch of islands that resemble the world in the ocean from scratch. Uh, it's really just like an up and coming place. The vibe here is upbeat everyone's happy, everyone's kind, everyone's energetic. It's overall just a really, really enjoyable place to be. And I really love the atmosphere here. Obviously, I didn't know that in advance, but the main three reasons I moved were business reasons, weather, and just kind of the overall upswing of the Middle East. It just seems like the place to be right now. In terms of now that I'm here, what life is actually like? As I mentioned, the weather is absolutely amazing. And another thing that I didn't really know about was how awesome the service industry is here. A lot of people, migrant workers will come here. And some people say that like it's, it's not the best morally or ethically, but essentially what's happening is people come here and they will make more than they're making in their home country. And then they can work here and send their money back home. It's really, if you ask me, it's advantageous to them because they're making more here than they would be at home and they can provide for their family. So you can have a cleaner come three times a week for like $30 each time. You can have people come cook your food for you. You can have a barber show up to your apartment and hire drivers. You can hire butlers. Like as a businessman myself, like any sort of headache or annoyance or inconvenience, like cooking, grocery shopping, haircut, any Anything you can essentially hire someone to come do for you, a lot cheaper than you would think, like probably a fraction of what it would cost in Canada. And the people are great, they're happy. I always obviously treat them very well. It's awesome when you get the same person over and over again. It's overall just kind of the perfect 
place to lock in business-wise. There is obviously lots of distractions, like you can go partying, clubbing, yacht. There's endless distractions, but if you can actually learn to cut that out and really just dial in on business, you can essentially eliminate any headaches. So all you have to do is focus on business and live an incredible high quality of life. Like we have groceries, we order straight from the farm. So there's literally like dirt on my eggs. When I get them still, you can get raw milk, you can get raw honey, all extremely healthy food right from the farm, actually like in the middle of Dubai, you can get it dropped off right to your apartment, which is crazy. So it's really allowed me to dial in on business and just give all of my focus to that and kind of eliminate any other headaches, which has really been amazing. It's extremely, extremely safe. And it's kind of hard to describe unless you're actually here. I feel like in even in Toronto or in any big city, when you're out at night, you're always kind of on guard in a sense. It's not like you're you're scared or worried, but you're on guard. You're just aware of what's going on. Here, you do not feel the need to do that. I would leave my Rolex, I would go put it on a coffee table in a cafe and I would walk away and I wouldn't worry about someone taking it. It's extremely, extremely safe. There's zero homelessness, there's zero drugs. I don't know what exactly the law but there's literally no drugs at all. There's zero crime. It's completely safe. There's zero homelessness. It's really, really, everything is immaculate. Like everything, if you go to the mall, if you just go outside to restaurants, if you walk around the, along the boardwalk, everything is absolutely incredible here. It's kind of hard to put into words until you actually see it for yourself, but it is actually amazing and you feel incredibly safe at all times, no matter what time of day, it's amazing. I think a big reason why it's so safe is, I think in my area, so I live in Dubai Marina, over 80 to 90% of the population here is actually expats, so like myself, like people from other countries who are here for business or here for work, whatever the reason is. And there's essentially a rule that if as an expat, you commit any crime whatsoever, you are exported right away. So if 89% of the population is exported, if they do one toe across the line wrong, obviously everyone's going to be very careful and very well behaved. And that is a reason why it's so safe. Another benefit of that is you can imagine there's obviously incredible networking opportunities when you have 80 to 9% of the population is like super high end, successful in like high end jobs or they're here for business. It's a very, very high end population full of ambitious, energetic, motivated people to connect with. It's an environment where you won't really find anywhere else. Like at Toronto at home, I'd have like the odd friends who are in business, but here it's not uncommon. You can literally just go grab lunch with like 15 people doing over hundred K a month profit. It's not even that strange. Obviously you want to eliminate distractions and stay focused on business, but there's not really many other places that you can surround yourself with the same quality of people. And it just naturally makes you think bigger. Like if I go out of my apartment right now and I walk along the boardwalk, there'll be like a hundred super yachts worth 30 million plus dollars just sitting there and even doing multiple hundred thousand dollars a month profit here you're literally just like it's nothing i've met like 20 year old kids doing five hundred thousand dollars a month and it just kind of puts things in perspective and i think as human beings we're always biologically wired to fit into the group i was in toronto like i was probably the only person one of the only people i knew who was at the level entrepreneurship wise that i was so I felt very good i was proud of myself but I wasn't really pushed to kind of reach that next level because there's very few people my age having any success there in business. There's obviously lots, but not it's not even comprehensible or comparable to what it's like in Dubai. It's literally insane. And being around that environment and, and those people, it just naturally kind of makes you think bigger, makes you ask yourself the right questions. Because when you meet these people, as many of you even watching, you might know me from when I was younger, the people who have this level of success are honestly not any different than you. They're not geniuses. They just ask themselves the right questions. And if you're asking yourself, how can you make hundred grand a year, $10,000 a month, you're going to come up with much different responses than if you're asking yourself, how can I make a million dollars a month? And actually taking that question seriously, like seriously, what do you have to do to reach that month, to reach a million dollars per month profit? And then you see 21 year old kids doing it. You think like, what are they asking? What are they doing that I'm not doing? Because it's possible. I see it every day. The only difference is they're asking themselves different questions. When you figure out what those questions are and you can start executing upon them yourself, you will get different results. And that's all from the environment that you're in. Lastly, the culture here is really amazing. Like they're a very, very religious people. So they follow Islam and they pray four to five times a day. They're extremely disciplined people. And honestly, they're leaders. And if you look at the leadership in the country, it's absolutely incredible. You won't find a single high end person who does not respect the United Arab Emirates. The people who run the country here are respectful. They're dedicated to the religion, they're disciplined, and they've literally built a mega city, the city of the future, literally from scratch in the desert, like 20 to 30 years. It's literally like nothing you can imagine. And it all starts at the top, the leadership they have here. And that all I think is founded upon their religion and their relationship with God and how disciplined and strict they are with that. And it really provides a foundation for all aspects of their life. Life and it really gives them meaning. And the first time I noticed this, I was uh, I was flying here. Usually when you're on like an Air Canada flight back home, the flight attendants are like miserable and they're like pissed off and they can tell they're annoyed. And here, when I flew here, I flew with Emirates, like the United Arab Emirates airline. And the flight attendants were happy, they 
were smiling. You can just tell everybody has meaning here, even if they're just working a standard job. Everyone has meaning. And I think that's founded upon how strong the religion is. They have very strong families, very kind of distinct traditions and ways of living. And I think that really provides them all a sense of meaning in their lives that's not prevalent in the West right now. Overall, my review of living here so far is 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it in all respects. In terms of cost of living, if I was making, if I could go back, as soon as I was making $10,000 US profit per month, I would move here right away. Because just by being here and being in this environment, you might not be living in a luxury penthouse at the top of the nice building, but you'll still be able to get a nice apartment, nice one bedroom, live a good quality of life. And just by being here, being in this environment, you'll naturally be thinking so much bigger and being around the right people that it would not surprise me if that $10,000 per month turns into 20, 30, 40, 50 in your first few months here. So honestly, if you're an entrepreneur, there's not really any reason not to be here. The weather's amazing, networking's amazing, the quality of life is amazing. It's an up and coming city. Obviously, family's a factor, so if you want to be close to your family back home, that might be difficult. But my family actually came here, visited me, and they absolutely loved it. And they're actually considering moving here for a month because of how much they loved it. So if you're a young entrepreneur, I would highly recommend that you do it. Obviously, make the decision for yourself, factor in whatever you need to. But I think it's an excellent place to really dial in on business and will really help you grow as a person, as a business owner. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your wonderful day to watch. If you could please hit subscribe on my channel below, I would greatly appreciate your support. And if you could also like the video, I would appreciate it as well. And if you take any value from my channel, please share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.